Hi guys, uh, good evening to all of you. So let us start our session. Yes, guys, do you hear me? Hello. Yeah, yes, now yes, it is available for me. Yeah. yeah, thank you for your response. So let us start our session. So yesterday's class, just to discuss about all the basics, what is system software, what is application software, next about device driver next about ways next up like a front ends back ends languages and packages like general high level language and low level language generation of languages like first generation second generation third and fourth all these things discussed next up, compiler interpreter so the differences discussed right okay so next to yes let us start c language okay yes here first two question is what is c language yes some basic question this is this fresher question this is what is the c language yes how to answer this what is C language? What is C language? Simple answer. C is a functional oriented language. Okay, C is a, yes, it is a functional oriented language. Simply here, it is a functional oriented language. Yesterday, this point we had discussed it. It is a functional, yes, oriented language. It's a functional oriented language. C is a functional oriented language. Simple answer here. Reason in C language, every transaction by the function. In C language, every transaction by the function. That is the reason called as functional oriented language. Every task, maybe reading data, maybe writing data, maybe any operation here. All the operations, maybe mathematical operations, or reading data, writing data, whatever it is here. All the operations. So what are the operations here? All are handling by the function. Okay. Yes, in C program, all are functions. Everything is function. Every task handled by the function. Okay, that's the reason it called as functional variant language. In C language, everything is function. Okay. So without functions, there is no C program. Yes, to compile the C program, at least one function required. Otherwise, we can't compile it. Yes, in C language, in C programming, everything is function. Every task is handled by the function. That's the reason called the functional oriented language. Right, okay. That is first point. Next, the second point. Yes, it is a yes, compiler-based language. This point also already we have discussed. It's a compiler-based. It's a compiler-based language. It's a compiler-based language. Okay. Yes, C is a compiler-based language. C is a compiler based language. Yes, here C compiler. C compiler check for all the errors. If an error generating exe file, after generating exe file, then executing, then getting output finally here. C is a compiler based. Yes, C compiler checking whole program from top to bottom. If no errors, generating output here. If no errors, creating exe file, after which generating outputs. Okay, right? Okay, so this is compiler based. Yes, next one more point here. Here C language, C language performs the features of low level languages, languages as well as, as well as high level languages, high level languages. Okay, low level as well as high level languages. C language performs the features of low level languages as well as high level languages. Okay. Low level language features, high level language features. Yes, what is low level language features here? Yes, low, la low level language. See, in low level language, code is in the form of binary codes. Binary codes. Code already in the form of binary codes. Yes, if code is already in binary code here, yes, no need of converting code from high level language to binary code, not necessary here, already in binary code. If code is already in binary codes, directly executes. Okay, directly executes. So within short time program finishing here, that means more performance. Suppose if it is high level language, 
yes if it is high level language what happens here yes if it is high level language yes in the high level language here the code has to convert into binary code yes suppose program yes high level language the program yes in high level language that code has to convert into binary code that code has to convert into binary code to convert into binary code system takes some time here so performance is less okay yes in low level language code is already in binary code in low level language code is already in binary code here that gives a more performance so here is a more performance yes more performance so this is giving more performance okay more performance yes low level language it's a more performance yes when come to high level language high level language like english language high level language is like a english language okay yes like english language then easy to understand right yes easy to understand so high level language looks like english language then easy to understand right easy to understand okay so this is easiness easiness right easiness okay high level language easiness yes low level language features more performance here high level language easiness okay so when come to c language yes when come to c language yes c language yes c language this is a yes like a, like a high level language yes c language also like english language right c language also looking like english language c language also looks like english language here then easy to understand c language very easy to understand okay so like high level language here c language easiness c language easiness here okay so easy to understand c programming easy to write the c programming right okay yes next apart from that yes when come to performance yes c language gives the more performance than all other high level languages okay c language giving more performance so c language easiness easiness yes as well as more performance c language giving more performance compared to any other high level language c language performance is more reason is in c language built ins are very less c language built ins are less is built ins with predefined things ready made one okay built ins are very less compared to any any other high level language like c plus plus java python you take any other high level language get c language performance is more because of built ins is built ins are very less see any programming language in which built ins are less that gives a more performance more performance right okay so in c language built ins are very less everything we should write the code we have to write the code completely right okay yes if it is built ins are more yes to invoke the built in system will take some time here suppose any built ins using in your program here so predefined things if you using any predefined library or built in things built in means predefined library yes if you using more predefined libraries here to invoke the predefined library system will take some time here when using predefined things okay when using predefined library here yes that will take some time here but in c language when come to c language the predefined things are very less yes most of the code we should write as a programmer we should write okay right so that's the reason this one gives a more performance okay so here like a low level language like a low level language here c language gives a more performance c language program gives a more performance than the any other high level language at the same time like high level language c language is very easy very easy to understand right very easy to understand okay so c language easiness as well as yes as well as more performance okay yes it stands middle of these two languages okay so this stands yes middle middle of middle of these two languages so this stands middle of these two languages okay so this stands middle of these two languages so this is called as middle level language simply it's called as middle level language finally we can say the middle level language middle level language so this one more point okay so c is a middle level language so next this point also you can mention this yes it is a yes it is a middle level language it is a middle level language okay right yes what is c language what is c language you can answer like this first one yes it is a functional oriented language next it is a compiler based language next it is a middle level language so these are the three points okay just you can answer these three points here what is c language if facing this answer question here you can answer like this it is a functional oriented language next it's a compiler based language then it's a middle level language so why called as middle level language 
resilience here it performs the features of yes it performs the features of low level languages low level languages as well as yes as well as high level language features high level language features yes low level language more performance because low level language already in binary code if code is already binary code that gives them more performance okay translation is not required that gives them more performance yes when come to high level language yes easiness <coughs> high level language like english language and easy to understand right so high level language features are easiness like like <coughs> like all the high level language c language also easy to understand c is also easy to understand easiness next like machine language c language gives a more performance okay that's the reason called as middle level language yes it stands middle of these two languages middle of these two languages that's the reason called as middle level language c is a middle level language so this is c right okay simply you can answer like this <coughs> see here it's a document here c language is a middle level language c is a middle level language okay c is a middle, middle level language yes as it performs yes as it performs features of high level language as well as low level language performs features of both here that's the reason called as middle level language right okay yes next c language is a functional oriented language since every task performed with function here right so this is a, yes so this is a way to answer this question here what is c language what is c language yes it's a functional oriented language next it's a compiler based language next it's a middle level language clear okay yes now let us see history of c language development history yes development yes development history so what is history of c language let us see this development history so what is the development history here let us see this one by one okay see all these points mentioned document here yes that is three also mentioned document here yes all that is three here yes all the each and every point it's in document here yes you can follow the document here okay for everything you can follow document simply here development history let us see this development history here okay yes see in development history here first step is algol 60 first is algol 60 okay yes next one is cpl okay next one is bcpl next is b language finally c language okay algol 60 yes first 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 step in development of c language algol 60 yes it was developed in year 1960 okay here 60 yes 60 algol 60 right what is algol 60 here algol 60 means algorithmic language algorithmic language 1960 here so in that year okay yes before c language we have some assembly language and machine language yes first and second generation see low level languages see in low level of first generation and second generation right first and second generation okay these are machine language assembly language right so before c language we have the machine language and assembly language so machine language is not easy to understand it's not easy very complexity yes in understanding machine language is not easy to understand it's not easy to write the programming very complex next even assembly language also very complex okay to overcome the disadvantages here some international company was formed okay some international company was formed here international yes international international company was formed here so international company was formed okay international committee so international yes international committee was formed so international committee was formed and they developed a language called algor 60 so this is first step in development of c language okay so initially we have the machine language and assembly language machine language assembly language these are very complex to understand complex to write the programming okay yes even small task also very big code lengthy code requires to overcome that case some international committee was formed some international committee was formed here they developed a language called yes algol 60 this is first step in development of c language so after that this algol 60 algol 60 yes taken by the cambridge university this algol 60 taken by the cambridge university cambridge university 
algal 60 taken by the yes this taken over algal 60 this was taken over by the cambridge university 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 and he added some more features added some more features okay yes this step by step is in document here okay yes yes here so yes cambridge university yes this algal 60 taken over by the cambridge university okay added some more features added some more features to algal 60 here and released as cpl in the year 1963 in the year 1963 so this was happened 1963 this is okay yes see first algal 60 by the international committee yes international yes international committee yes international committee this is in the year 1960 1960 okay so algal 60 this is here this is in the year 1960 here algal 60 by the international committee year 1960 here right okay yes next here this algal 60 taken over by the cambridge university added some more features to algal 60 here and released as cpl in the year 1963 right okay so later later yes here this algal 60 okay this algal 60 sorry this cpl so this cpl taken by the martin richards martin yes richards martin richards yes this algal this cpl this cpl language taken by the martin richards and added some more features added some more features and released as bcpl bcpl in 1967 so first step is algal 60 in the year 1960 here this is by the international committee right okay next next step is cpl cpl from the cambridge university from the cambridge cpl from the cambridge university in the year 1963 okay right next bcpl this is by the martin richards in the year 1967 right yes after this year yes next step. next step. here yes bcpl bcpl this is taken over by ken thompson ken thompson okay ken thompson who is working at at and bell labs ken thompson who is working at at and bell labs at and bell labs at and t bell labs bell labs at and t bell labs yes here this bcpl bcpl Taken over by the Ken Thompson at AT&T Bell Labs. He is the employee of AT&T Bell Labs that time here. Yes, he has taken this BCPL, added some more features, and released as B language in the year 1970. So this what happened? This was this was happened in the year 1970 here. So Ken Thompson, yes, Ken Thompson taken over this BCPL. Okay, Ken Thompson, who is the employee of AT&T Bell Labs. So Ken Thompson at AT&T Bell Labs. He is the employee of AT&T Bell Labs. Okay. He has taken this PCPL and he added some more features, then released as B language. Yes, B language in the year 1970. B language. So B language in the year 1970. 1970, right? Yes, after this, finally, here, same year, ATD Bellabs, Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie at ATD Bellabs. Same. Same company. He's also employee of same company here. Dennis Ritchie at AT&T Bell Labs. Okay. Yes, this Dennis Ritchie has taken best features of BCPL and B language. Best features of BCPL and B language. Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie has taken best features of B language and BCPL. BCPL and B language. Added some more features. Added some more features and released as C language. Released as C language. Released as C language. Yes, released as C language, C language in the year 1973, in the year 1970, sorry, 72, in the year 1972, 72, right, 1972. Yes, this is history of C language. So, first initially here, yes, before, before development of C language here, we have the assembly language and mission language. These are very complex to understand. Okay, to overcome that here, yes. Some international committee was formed here. They developed a language called Algar 60 and released in the year 1960. Algar 60 means algorithmic language 1960. Algorithmic language 1960. Released in the year 1960 here. After that, yes, next. 
this algol 60 taken over by the cambridge university added some more features added some more features and released as cpl cpl means combined programming language cpl stands for combined combined programming language okay it was released in the year 1963 here next martin richards next martin martin richards taking the cpl and added some more features martin richards martin martin richards taking the cpl added some more features and released as the bcpl in the year 1967 bcpl means basic combined programming language basic combined programming language right okay so next same language taken by the ken thompson care added some more features okay added some more features and released as p language in the year 1970 okay right finally dennis ritchie finally dennis ritchie has taken dennis ritchie has taken best features from pcpl best features from bcpl and b language best features from pcpl and b language finally developed a language called c language okay so finally developed a language called c language right yes same that history is there in document here see the document yes let me review the document here see history of c language year 1960 yes algol 60 okay this is by the international committee right yeah this is by the international committee Okay, right? Yes, 1963 CPL. Yes, combined programming language. This is by the Cambridge University. Right, okay. Next next step is 1967. Yes, BCPL, basic combined program language. This is by the Martin Richards at Cambridge University. Right, next 1970 B language. B language. This is by the Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson. Right, yes, next 72 C language. Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie has taken best features of BCPL and B language. Finally developed C language, right? Okay, Dennis Ritchie at AT&T Bell Labs. AT&T Bell Labs. So this is development history of C language. Development history of C language, right? Okay, yes, fine. So what is next step here? Let us see the next step. One second. See here initially yes initially c language compiler initially c language compiler compiler is a task yes ms task microsoft desktop extra task who is best compiler okay that means the C programs, C programs works on only MS DAS ways, not with other operations. Yes, that time, that time we have only DAS ways. Yes, yes, 1972. That time we have only DAS ways. We don't have the Windows ways. Windows ways was developed in the year 1990. Yes, Windows first version of Windows ways, first version of Windows ways, Windows 1.0, 1.0. Yes, this is released in the year 1990 here. 1990 okay 1990 okay yes here yes initially c language compile is a task based compiler c language compile is a it's a task based compiler just it's a task based compiler it's a task based compiler okay yes that time we don't have windows uh, windows here windows was released in the year 1990 here okay right so initially c language compiler is a task based compiler okay task based compiler yes this compiler this compiler is yes, taken by the turbo turbo okay this compiler yes turbo it's a company yes turbo comp this company has taken rights turbo has taken turbo it's a company okay so the turbo company yes yeah, this company has taken yes yeah, this company yes turbo company has taken has taken has taken rights has taken rights on this compiler okay rights on this compiler compiler and released as and released released as yes released and released as released as turbo c compiler turbo c compiler released as turbo c compiler right turbo c compiler right okay so turbo c is a task based compiler turbo it's a company 
okay turbo company has taken this company has taken rights on this compiler and released as turbo c compiler released as turbo c compiler yes i'll show the turbo c compiler see turbo c compiler this is okay see i am starting this launching this compiler see das box right this put some message das box okay yes i am repeating once again yes again launching here see this try to observe it it shows das box right yes once launching at the time of launching shows like a das box you can see das box see the das box right this is das box Display like a task box, right? It's a task box. Okay, just display like a task box. So you can see this. Yes, again, I'm launching here. Try to observe it. Task box, task box, right? That's it here. Right, okay. Yes, so this is Turbo C compiler. This is Turbo C compiler. It's a task based compiler. Turbo C is a task based compiler. It's a task based compiler. Right, okay. So initially, compiler, it's a Turbo C compiler. It's a task based compiler. Right, okay. Yes, next. <clears throat> next here. So, next step. Same the tennis richie. Yes, same person the tennis richie under tennis richie and Ken Thompson. Tennis richie and Ken Thompson. Yes. Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson. Ken Thompson get AT get AT and AT and Pennaps. Yeah, they are the employees of AT and Pennaps. Okay. Yes. Dennis Ritchie. So next step in next step here. Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson get AT and Pennaps. AT and Pennaps. Okay. Develop them. Yes. Develop them. Yes. Develop them. Unique face. Unique face. Yes, here Dennis Ritchie. See here Dennis Ritchie. Next one second. Dennis Ritchie. Ken Thompson. Next one more person here. Brian Kernigan. Brian Kernigan. Brian Kernigan. Yes, 88 ATD Bellers. So Dennis Ritchie, Ken Thompson. Next and Brian Kernigan. Kernigan at AT&T Bell Apps developed developed a Unix space. They have developed Unix space. Yes, Unix space in the year in the year 1973. In the year 1973. Yes, Dennis Ritchie. At yeah, this case, Dennis Ritchie, Ken Thompson. Next. Yes, Brian Kernigan. Yes, yeah, these are for... AT&T Bell Apps. Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Uh... We are not able to see what you are typing in uh, Notepad. We, uh, um, yeah, now it's good. Yes, it's sir. Even I, even I cannot so, uh, also see. My screen is not visible. Yeah, yes. it's showing uh, B language, C language, and initially C language compiler. Uh, these three lines is only showing for us. Now, now, are you able to see this Dennis Ritchie? Uh, no, no. Uh, no, you are in you. I think your screen is a zoom, uh, zoomed in, uh, so that's why you are not able to see your content. Not zoomed in. Once again, yeah, one second, one second because of Turbo C launching. Yes, you able to see now this this blue yes. thing? Yeah, yes, yes, uh, yes. Now it's okay, right? Okay, one second. Now, are you able to see desktop? Yeah, yes, no, yes, well. now we are able to see normal. Yes, now no patch? Yeah, yes, no, yes. Well. Now it's okay, right? Mm, it's okay now. Yeah, because of launching that, uh, yeah, Turbo C, yes, may not be. Yes, now you're able to see this Dennis Ritchie, Ken Damson, Brian Kenning at this one, right? Yeah, yes, sir, no, yes, well. we are able to see now. Yeah, thank you. So, Dennis Ritchie, Ken Damson, Brian Kenning, Yet eight in the bellows get developed a unique space in the year 1973. Here, at eight in the bellows, yes, developed a unique space in the year 1973. Okay, yes, unique space, yes, first developing C language. 
yes using same compiler they have developed okay unix was first developed yes it was developed in c language in c language okay in c language okay unix was developed in c language they have used c language to develop the unix base this was happened year 1973 in 1972 c language compiler was developed okay c language compiler was developed yes it's ms dos dos was dos based compiler right okay yes same persons Dennis Ritchie, Ken Thompson, Brian Kernighan, yet AT&T Labs. They are the employees of that AT&T Labs. Yet they have developed Unix ways in C language. Yes, using that C compiler, they have developed yes ways called Unix ways. Unix ways. Yes, they have developed Unix ways. Yes, in the year 1973. Here, okay. Same these three persons here. Three three persons have developed Unix ways in the year 1973. Okay. So first ways in the market is MS DOS. MS DOS. Okay. See MS DOS. Yes, this was developed in the year 1945. 1945. Yes, MS DOS. It was developed in the year 1945. Okay. So initially C language compiler. Yes, 1972. C language compiler in the year 1972. Yes, it was developed for the DOS ways. So first ways in the market is MS DOS. In the year 1945, so initially C language compile was done for the DOS ways. Okay, later, yes, in 1973, 1973, same persons, Dennis Ritchie, Ken Thompson, Brian Kerning, and here, these three persons at AT&T Labs, they are the employees of this company here. Yes, these these persons, they have developed one more way called Unix ways. They have developed a Unix ways in the year 1973. Yes, it was developed Unix ways was developed in C language. Right, okay. Yes, next. Next in the year, yes, 1979. In the year 1979, yes, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson. Dennis, these, these guys, yes, Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson. Dennis Ritchie and Ken Damson, yes, rewritten. Rewritten C compiler. Rewritten C compiler for Unix ways. Unix ways. Just they have rewritten for Unix ways. Right? Okay. They have rewritten for Unix ways and named as named as named as K and R compiler. K and R compiler. K and R compiler. K and R compiler. Initial named as K and R compiler. This is K and R compiler. How K and R? Ken Thompson, yes, R means Richie. So K and R compiler. So initial name as K and R compiler. Okay. So in 1979, Dennis Richie and Ken Thompson rewritten, rewritten C compiler. Yes, C compiler for Unix ways. For Unix ways. And named as and named as yes, named as K and R compiler. Right, okay. Yes. After development of this K and R compiler, yes, this K and R compiler. K and R compiler yes submitted to submitted to ANSI submitted to ANSI okay yes in the year 1979 K and R compiler was developed K and R compiler is Unix based compiler K and R compiler it's Unix based compiler this Unix based compiler submitted to ANSI so what is ANSI here so what is ANSI ANSI stands for what ANSI stands for yes American Yes, American, yes, National, American National Standard, Standard, Standard Institute, Institute, American National Standard Institute. So what is, what are the activities of this uh, ANSI here? ANSI activities, yes, American National Standard Institute. Okay, so what are the activities of this? Like a ISO in India, right? Okay. Yes. ISO. Sorry, not ISO. ISI. Okay, ISO. Yes, that ISO is that is International Standard Organization. This is ISI. ISI means Indian Standard Institute. Yes, Indian ISI. This stands for Indian Standard. Yes, Institute. Indian Standard Institute. So, what is what are the activities of ISI here? 
yeah this will check for the quality quality standards quality standards checking for quality standards right okay see any company any company before going to release their product in the company here they have to submit yes any company launching product in the market they should submit to isi okay right once submitted here they will check the quality of their product just checking quality of product here after quality of the product, checking quality of product yes if the product reaching the expected quality here reaching some standard standards then there will be the isi certification yes isi see you can see isi mark right isi mark on the product right yes indian companies many companies are having isi mark okay isi mark yes you take any one maybe water bottle okay yes something like this water bottle yes maybe some locks something like this yes all the products all the products some companies they taken this isa marker isa symbol means a quality product right isa marker so after getting that isi okay for certification they will in the market right that is isi indian stand institute here so checking for quality standards yes any product meeting that or meeting that quality here they will get the isi isi mark right so on this on this product here they will print isi mark then they will release the market right so isi brand image is a standard it's a quality product like that yes in esa yes in america this is ansi american national stand institute this is also checking for quality okay so you get this kender compiler submitted to ansi c ansi correct ansi okay yes here that kender compiler recognized by ansi here so ansi yes ansi american national stand institute okay they have recognized okay they have ansi so ansi yes they have recognized them. recognized them. recognized recognized kender kender compiler kender compiler and released and released yes released as released as ansi c in the market ansi c in the market released as ansi c in the market right okay so ansi c what what is ansi c is a linux based sorry unix based ansi c is a unix based next initially it's a turbo c right there is a turbo c turbo c turbo c is a task based so initially yes initially c compiler task based compiler on this compiler turbo company has taken rights and released as turbo c compiler turbo c compiler turbo c compiler is a task based compiler turbo c compiler is a yes task based based yes, task based compiler right okay next ansi c ansi c is a unix based compiler ansi c compiler yes it's a unix based compiler unix based unix based right yes maybe asking this question here how many types of compilers in c language yes there is a fresher question here how many types of compilers in c language there are two types of compilers in language first one turbo c next one is ansi c compiler there are two types okay so there are there are two types of compilers there are two types of compilers there are two types of compilers in c language two types of compilers two types of compilers there are two types of compilers yes in c language so first one turbo c first one turbo c it's a task based compiler second one ansi c it's a unix based compiler right okay so two types of compilers turbo c compiler and ansi c compiler okay right yes here this turbo c compiler yes this turbo c compiler taken by the microsoft yes in the in the in the 90s in the period 1990 here yes 1990 that windows voice was released right in, in the year 1990 1990 windows voice was released okay yes this turbo c compiler taken over turbo c compiler yes taken over taken over by the microsoft by the microsoft so taken over by the microsoft okay microsoft 100 yes and rewritten this was rewritten rewritten for windows players. they have rewritten for windows players. okay windows players. okay windows players. and released as a windows based compiler microsoft windows based based compiler so turbo c turbo c compiler taken over by the microsoft and rewritten for rewritten for windows players. 
and released as windows best compiler okay and released yes released as windows os compiler windows windows best compiler windows best compiler so in the os also we have the two compilers dos best compiler windows best compiler here so turbo is working for both dos as well as windows here turbo is a dos and windows dos and windows os compiler here dos and windows os yes all this is it's mentioned document here so whatever things i am typing in the notepad here is there a document here turbo c compiler is a dos and windows os best compiler here dos and windows os best compiler right okay next so anc c is a unix best compiler right so next later here yes in the year 1989 in the year 1989 linux os linux os was developed linux os was developed okay developed from unix os from unix os okay linux is basically from the unix os linux is a modified linux is a modified version of unix os in the year 1989 linux os was developed linux is a modified version of unix os same compiler added to linux os also same c language unix based compiler added to linux also here same taken into linux os okay all the features of all the features of unix os taken into linux os and added some more features then developed linux os okay so linux os also kind of same compiler here that means ancc compiler unix and unix as well as linux based unix and linux based okay unix and linux based here so turbo c compiler is a dos and windows os based here ancc c compiler is a unix and linux based compiler right so this is finally here two types of compilers there are two types of compilers in c language here first one turbo c compiler next one is ancc c compiler turbo c compiler is a dos and windows os based compiler yes next ancc ancc compiler yes ancc compiler yes it is a unix and linux based compiler right okay so finally here there are two types of compilers in c language finally finally we can say here there are two types of compiler there are two types of compiler c language here this is history here history okay so there are two types of compiler yes in c language there are two types of compilers in c language okay c language there are two types of compilers in c language okay so first one turbo c compiler it's a dos and windows os based here second one ancc it's a unix and linux based compiler here right so two types of compilers right okay now here doubt is where to use turbo c compiler where to use ancc compiler okay so where to use turbo c and where to use ancc compiler here yes turbo c see turbo c this is for learning purpose turbo c using for learning purpose not for real time projects here turbo c only for learning purpose turbo c very easy to use see turbo c see turbo c this is turbo c id right yes this is very easy to use so this is very easy to use turbo c turbo c very easy to use okay right yes now you able to see the screen is it visible screen my nice screen yeah visible but uh, the current uh, typing uh, text is not visible one second one second yeah because turbo c that is started hmm. Now blue screen is okay, right? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Blue screen, blue, uh, with blue screen, okay. Now, desktop is it okay? No, ah, okay. <clears throat> it is visible normally. Notepad. Yeah, okay, nice. So now we are able to see. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Yeah, one more some new Chinese. Yeah, okay. So Turbo C, yes, there are two types of compilers in C language. First one, Turbo C compiler, it's a DOS and Windows based compiler here. Next, ANSI C compiler, it's a Unix and Linux based compiler. 
Okay, fine. Yes, we are using Turbo C compiler and we are using Hansi C compiler. Let us see this. Turbo C compiler okay, is for learning purpose. Turbo C compiler, yes, using for, yes, use, this is used for learning purpose. Use it for learning here. Okay, learning just, just learning. Learning environment, not for development. Okay, only for learning, not for project development not for real time project development here only for learning purpose not for real time projects okay so this is not for yes real time projects okay turbo c is not for real time projects okay turbo c compiler is it for learning not for real time projects here yes after learning c language using turbo c here next we should use ancc so ancc ancc Yes, this is used for real time projects. Okay. Yes, used for production environment, production development, and yes, one second. Hands is used for the developing projects here, project development. Okay, this is used for real time. Yes, real time projects. Yes, real time projects development here. Okay. Real time project development. Development and also in production environment in production environment production environment in production environment okay right so actually in real time using hands is here unix based compiler hands is used for real time projects turbo c only for the learning here first you have to learn c language right yes after learning c language next you should move to hands c yes hands c hands is compiler Yes, it's a Unix plus tech compiler using for the real time project development. Yes, we are going to discuss both here Turbo C compiler and ANSI C compiler. After finishing 80% of syllabus, we'll be moving to ANSI C. So, ANSI C completely is a Linux based ticket, Linux and Unix based for the purpose of project development. Okay, for project development, we should use ANSI C here. Turbo C will not work for the project development only for learning purpose. Only for learning purpose. Turbo C only for learning purpose, not for project development. Okay. Yes, and is used for the real time projects. Real time projects. Okay. Project development as well as the production environment. Production means that live client location. Live live environment. Okay, right? So that's the difference here. Turbo C and NCC, right? Yes, using NCC, what kind of projects you can develop here? Okay, types of projects. Okay, types of projects. Yes, that can be developed. Type, types of projects that can be yes types of projects that can be developed developed yes using yes using ncc so what kind of projects you can develop here? first one yes embedded projects yes embedded yes embedded so embedded projects here nothing but they are like a device drivers the device drivers device drivers comes in the embedded projects here device drivers Yes, all device drivers developing in Linux based C language, not Turbo C. Turbo C is not for the real time project development. Turbo C only for learning purpose, not for real time project development. Okay. Yes, we'll be discussing ANSI C also. Linux based C language will discuss. After finishing 80% of your syllabus, we'll discuss Linux based C language also. ANSI C also will discuss. Okay. How to develop the projects in ANSI C? That also will be discussing. At the end, we'll get the NCC project development here. Okay, so embedded projects, device drivers. So types of projects that can be developed in using NCC here. So first one, embedded, embedded projects. Okay, so nothing but it's embedded C. Embedded C is a device drivers, right? Okay, next second one, networking. Yes, networking, yes, networking projects. Networking projects, means like a networking project like bridges, Bridges, next gateways. Okay, the networking communication purpose. Yes, communication purpose. For example, here in your home, there's a router, right? Wi-Fi router. That Wi-Fi router contains for some program, right? That program is C program. Wi-Fi router contains C program. Okay, it's a networking program that is. Yes, communicating networking per com communicating network. So Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi router that contains yes, router program. Okay. So Wi-Fi router, that router program is network program. Next, apart from the internet, using bridges and gateways. Yes, bridges, it's a comp component that is using C program. 
gateways is another component that is also using C program, right? So these all are C programs, bridges and gateways using the internet, right? Internet. Okay. So to develop such kind of things, you can use yes, embedded C. So networking projects. So embedded projects, networking projects. Yes, apart from this. Next third one. Yes, application. Yes, application. Yes, applications. Yes, applications like a, something like crud applications. Crud applications. Crud apps. What is crud here? Crud. C means create. Okay, C means create. Yes, R means read. R means read. Yes, U means update. U means update. Right, okay, next. Yes, D means delete. Here the operations get delete here. So CRUD applications. C means create. Yes, R means reach. U means update. D means delete. So what does it mean here? See create. Create means creation of new record. Suppose employee information. Maintaining employee information. Yes, first when you employee join into company here. Suppose any employee join into company here. That creating new, new record, right? That employee information. Any employee join into company. That employee information, that record creating it, so creating records, so record generated. Once employee join into company here, that record generating, so creating records. After creation of records here, next read. What is reads? Now, who are the employees currently here? Yes, information. Reading all the employee information. Who are the employees? Current employees. Information about employees, right? Next update means modification of records. Update means modifying records. Suppose any employee salary modified salary changed updating that record right salary modification our department changed here or suppose address changed something like this that is updation here modification of record delete suppose any employees any employee permanently present to company here then deleting that record okay right? so creating new records yes next displaying all the existing records here checking for all records searching for records then read operation update with modification Delete, deleting record permanent right okay permanently or temporarily here like this so this is crud operation right here yeah, this these cases also you can use ncc not only ncc turbo c also can use for application development crud operations even turbo c also we can use for the crud operations right okay yes on these crud operations we are going to discuss when big project real time projects yes at the end of the course we'll discuss very big projects on crud operations one second this project so this is a uh, so this is a uh, linux based programming yes ncc programming creating header file building projects yes developing c program and linux based of developed how to build the projects in linux with that ncc concept this is ncc next at the end this is a project yes c project c application to perform following transactions this this is going to discuss okay Yes, template data menu, add record, display record, modify record, delete records, exit option like this. See, this is. So this is using some structures and pointers and functions, switch case statement, while loop. Yes, many things using here. Very big one. Yes, it's around thousand lines of code. Thousand lines of code. This is complete project development. This is in files. Will be discussed in files after finishing files. I'll explain these projects. I'll explain this is a final topic projects. Okay. Yes, after that, linked list topic. After projects, next linked link list like malloc function, free function, calloc, and all this. Right. Okay. Yes, an application development will discuss one project. So these these type of projects you can develop. Yes, in NCC. Okay. Embedded project networking and application development. Here. This kind of projects you can develop in NCC, right? Okay. So you get Turbo C only for learning purpose. So generally here colleges, colleges and universities they will use Turbo C because very easy to understand this is Turbo C easy to work. Okay. 
so for learning purpose anyone using tarbo c okay yes even we are also going to start with tarbo c first i will start with tarbo c here tarbo c after finishing 80% of our syllabus after finishing 80% of our syllabus we will be moving to ansi c ansi c right okay on ansi c here how to develop the c program c programs okay writing c program comparison c program generation of exe file next how to build the projects yes how to build the projects in ansi c those topics should be discussing right okay so this is history about c language so what is yes today topic what is c language just today introduction here what is c language c is a functional oriented language right next it's a compiler based language yes it's a middle level language yes here if you are attending any interview here as a fresher yes when you are attending some interviews as a fresher here may be asking this question okay so what is c language what is c language yes first simply you should answer this what is c language your answer is it's a functional oriented language it's a compiler based language next it's a middle level language right okay next history what is history of c language here first algol 16 next cpl b cpl b language and c language right okay now here next question is see here questions first question is yes in inter is asking this question first question is what is c language first question as a fresher facing this question here what is c language next next question second question yes who has developed c language who has developed yes who has developed c language yes anyone can you answer this who has developed the c language hello guys who has developed c language yes first question what is c language for this answer for this answer these three points these three points okay so what is c language for this answer these three points right okay next second question who has developed c language yes guys yes yes someone already some guys were attended already today explained right c language we has developed c language finally here see history that history we discussed right development history algol 60 cpl b cpl p language c language who has developed c language here hello dennis richi can you speak up dennis richi right yes yeah. who has developed c language dennis richi dennis richi yes dennis richi yes today just now we discussed today that computer so history we discussed right answer is dennis richi okay who has developed c language answer is dennis richi okay next when it was developed when it was developed okay when it was developed here what's answer for, for this next answer 1972 1972 yes 1972 in the year 1972 right so this is third, third question here next fourth question yes how many types of how many types of c compilers how many types of c compilers two types of c compilers how many types of c compilers two types of c compilers are there there are two types of compilers right two types of compilers two types of compilers yes first one is turbo c next one ansi c right yes there are two types of compilers turbo c and ansi c right turbo c and ansi c okay there are two types of compilers in c language first for this answer yes how many types of compilers here for this answer for this answer yeah, there are two types of compilers turbo c and ansi c right yes next question next question yes can you can you yes differentiate can you differentiate turbo c and ansi c here can you differentiate yes turbo c and ansi c yes anyone can you differentiate it turbo c is best turbo c is ms based and windows based compiler yeah turbo c is a turbo c is a dos 
DOS and Windows Windows based compiler. Based compiler. Yes. What is Han CC? Unix and Linux based compiler. Yes. Han CC is a Linux based compiler. So like Han CC is a Linux based Unix and Linux based Unix and Linux. Okay. Unix and Linux based compiler. Right? This is okay. Next. Yes. <clears throat> Next, what's other difference here? Turbo C is a DOS Windows based compiler here, and CC Unix and Pay, Unix and Linux based compiler. Right? Okay, yes, now here. Yes, next question. Yes, what's the type of compiler? Yes, what's the type of compiler using for the project development? Yes, what's the type of compiler using for project development? Yes, can you answer this? Yes, you can answer. And CC. So, and CC. Yes, and CC, right? And CC. Answer is and CC compiler. Yes, answer. And CC compiler. What's the type of compiler used for the project developer? It's and CC, right? And CC. Right, okay. Yes, next question. Next question is what kind of projects? what kind of projects projects can be developed what kind of projects can be developed can be developed using ancc using ancc yes using ancc what kind of projects here yes what's the answer for this embedded projects and networking projects, embedded and projects networking C projects and CRA application mm -hmm. okay so this, this kind of things here yeah, these kind of things. These types of products, different types of products here. Right, okay. See, for every topic, just I'm preparing questions like this. I will send you this, this document, this, this notepad, I'll save it. Okay. Yes, you see, for your branch, P drive, C material, yes, in this new folder. Yes, C batch. Yes, April. Yes, 6 p.m. So with your batch name, I'm creating folder. Yes, in this folder, just I'm saving here. This is yes. In yes, in what I'm creating WhatsApp group. In WhatsApp group, I'll send you this one. Every day explanation document, I'll send it. Okay, this is uh, Get that explanation document. Yes, April. Yes, today first. April first. The document. This is a Hadoop batch. Okay. C material. Yes, C batch. April. Six p.m. Yes, saved. I'll send you this is okay. Yes, in WhatsApp group, I'll send you this document. This is actual main document. Same till now, what are discussed here? Main document is sir. This is around 265 page document. So this is yesterday topic, right? That interaction. What we discussed yesterday. Software like system software, application software. Next, what is ways? Next, yes, about front end, back end. Next, in front end language and packages. Next, high level languages and low level languages. Next, generation of languages. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation. Next, yes, here difference between interpreter and compiler. It's yesterday topic. Interpreter compiler, it's yesterday topic. Okay, yes, next, create topic. Introduction to C language. Create topic here. Yes, C language is a middle level language. Yes, C is a functional variant language, all these points. So what I've discussed till now here, everything is there. History of C language. Yes, 1960s, 60s like this, Algol 60, CPL, BCPL, B language, and C language. C language near 1972 by the Dennis Ritchie at 18 Bell Labs, right? At 18 Bell Labs. Okay, that is three. C. Yes, in 1972, Dennis Ritchie has taken best features of B, B, CPL, and B language, then developed C language. 
right okay yes initially c language c compiler dos plus the compiler right okay yes 1973 unix server was developed right okay yes 1979 kernigan tennis developed unix plus the compiler named as kender compiler named as kender compiler like it's all that history here till now what are discussed all that history is in document here Yes, in the year 1990, Kender compiler was recognized by ANSI. 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 Yes, named as ANSI C. Right, okay. And released as ANSI C in the market here. ANSI. Right, okay. Yes, Tarqua C. Tarqua C is a Windows and DOS OS dependent. Tarqua C is a Windows and DOS OS dependent here. ANSI C is a Unix or Linux OS dependent. Right, okay. Yes, Tarqua C is just a student version using for learning. Yes, use it for just use it for learning here. Use it for learning here. Learning. Use it for learning. Yes, ANSI is the compiler used for the real time application development here. So, yeah, ANSI is the compiler providing features to develop the following types of applications here. Like application programming, next network programming, communication system here between computers, next embedded programming here, device drivers. So, this is history of complete history of C language. I think clear, right? So this is just introduction. Introduction to C language. Right, okay. Next, how to write C programming? There is a structure. We should follow some structure. Top to bottom, there is some structure here. Like document part, include first, different part, like this. Top to bottom. Yes, you have to follow some order. There is an order of writing C program. So what is order of writing C program? The topic, yes, we'll discuss tomorrow class. Uh, yes, for this topic, I need minimum one hour required to explain this topic here tomorrow we'll discuss already it's now 7 20 okay 10 minutes within 10 minutes i can't finish this one here so tomorrow we'll continue for the structure of c program yes top to bottom this order we should follow some order okay right yes here like the document part include files different part like this this topic tomorrow we'll discuss right okay yes any doubts for today yes one second this is my WhatsApp number. I'm creating WhatsApp for you guys. This is saved already here. Yes, one second. Yes, my WhatsApp number. If you please send your details. Yes, I'm creating WhatsApp group today now. Yes, H1791891. This is my WhatsApp number. Just it's my WhatsApp number. Sir, sir, uh, I don't have WhatsApp. I want a mail in mail ID. I want. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, definitely. I can mail it. I can mail it. This is my WhatsApp number. Please send your details. Yes, your details like your name. Yes, your name. Some express. Okay, next. Your quotes. What? Yes, anyone you have the WhatsApp number, then you can use this. Yes, me. Some extra that you were course C language. What's that course you are learning here? C language. Okay. C language. Time. What's the time? Time is 6 p.m. Just send this information. I'll add to WhatsApp. Suppose you will send that to WhatsApp. Yes, uh, just do. Yes, in SMS, text me these details. Text me these details and your mail ID, email ID. Email ID. Okay. Sir. Yes, email ID. So send me email ID. I'll send it. Okay. From gmail.com. Okay, sir. Send me your email ID. I'll send all the documents here. What are documents in there? Everything I'll send it. Okay. Turbo C. Yes, the Turbo C. Yes. How to install Turbo C? First, we'll start with Turbo C. After finishing 80% of Turbo C, we'll move into Linux base. Yes, Linux introduction. Just I'll be the we have three classes linux orientation classes after that yes i will start that ANSI C, linux based c language okay right yes just just view me these details here yeah this is whatsapp number as well as my contact number also okay even you can text me also not only whatsapp here simply normal message sms you can send sms also for the same thing you can send sms text message you can send it for sms also you can use this one here Yes, even you can call it. Yes, my contact number also. Contact number, WhatsApp number for SMS. For all this thing, I'm using same number here. Just even you can call me. Okay, at my free time, 
yes i can respond you definitely here okay i can answer your questions suppose if i am free here immediately i can answer okay otherwise yes let me at free time i'll call back i'll call back so any kind of questions you can clarify it okay so 24 by 7 support is available okay see morning 10 to 6 may not be available that is my office hours that time may be little bit to, to little bit difficult to respond okay yes night 9 o'clock after 9 o'clock i'll be available no problem yes after 9 pm yes if you want to talk to me here after 9 pm you can call me okay just you text me i'll respond yeah. back after 9 pm yeah, today and today i try to connect to the link Yes, night 9 to 12 o'clock. I'll be available up to 12 o'clock. Night up to 12 o'clock, I'll be sir. available. Okay, 12. Yes, sir. Yesterday, today. Hello? Yeah, tell me. Sir, yesterday, today I tried to connect to, through link. Uh, actually, I am getting a message like this meeting is over. No, that is, I think that year was expired. Every day, yes, New Year, I think, getting that is. Just any any problem, just to contact online team, they will be the URL. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Every day yes, it will okay. give they will give that same URL. One second. This is my WhatsApp number. Suppose if you have the WhatsApp, okay. I can give URL. Meeting URL, I can give it. Okay. 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 Yes, generally online team, online team sending that URL to all emails. Yes, in your email, you will get the that URL. Now this today, what you connect okay. this year is for this complete week. Till Saturday, this year will be working here. So what are the URL you are using here? Same today URL. Yes, that is valid till Saturday. Yes, from Monday may be giving a new URL here. So once on Monday, it's a new URL. From Monday to next one month, valid for that URL here. So today, whatever the URL is here, this okay. is applicable. This is valid till Saturday. Yesterday, Wednesday, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, up to Saturday, you can use same URL. Tomorrow also, you can join with same URL. Tomorrow also, same URL. Yes, till Saturday. Till Saturday, you can use same URL. No change in URL here. From Monday onwards, maybe changing URL. Yes, any URL change here, they will send you message. Okay, still facing problem, just you call me. Call me to this number. Okay, I will help you. I'll help you joining in the yes, joining the session, right? Yes, any issues, any problems, just you call me. This is you can text me, or else if it is after nine o'clock, you can call me, no problem. Okay, text me, just I'll respond. Simply I'll respond. Right, okay, right, okay. Yes, thank you, guys. Yes, asking some question. Uh, we require your online team uh, number. I don't have online your online team. team. One second. I'll do my online team number. Yes, online team number. Yes, triple eight five two five two six two seven. This is online team number. Yeah, okay, nice. So I got it. This is online team. I'm pinging in your chat box. This is my WhatsApp number. This is the online team number. Online team number. Next WhatsApp number. Yes, in, in chat box I sent you. Yeah, okay, nice. I got it. Okay, just you can take it. Right, okay. So that's all for today. Yes, tomorrow we'll continue for the yes, uh, C program structure, top to bottom. There are some steps to develop the C program. Okay? Tomorrow we'll continue for that. Right, okay. Yeah. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah, okay, nice. Bye.